let's look closer at some properties when we launch for the key pro we want to adjust them some of those options so to access them we're going to the file and we're going to this options with the gear icon so let's open you'll notice right here we have our options and we have a general email ftp color and activation you also anytime when you change you can reset to default value so let's look first on the general preferences you notice right here we have our open um, in editor path so we can specify if any path we want to work like Photoshop or other ones We also have a tool set position. So right here. It's our workflow tool set and currently specify on the left You can adjust move to the right if you want it or you can leave it on the left So by default, I will leave it on the on the left side as well as the control or our properties will leave it on the right so this will be same as you open for the key pro and it's a look for you a little bit more familiar um, you can customize as you like it if you prefer elements will be on the left or right and you can access from your general options menu okay also default viewer down sample so right here you notice you can still select from drop down menu but pre default you can also select it from um, your drop down so same things as on the top and uh, here's things quite simple it's faster health give you better resolution but it's work a little bit um, slower so on a field i find out the core simple work the best because it pre it's give you very nice performance at the same time you don't sacrifice so much on the quality in this save project with relative uh, path you want to enable this if you think you will share your a project with maybe teammates or you transfer to different computer with your data disk may be different so for example if you save your project on a d drive and you go on a other computer with a c drive only then you want to use the relative path so it will find um elements um that needed for your project with easy also we have a thumbnail cache and each time when we create preview you'll notice on the right side of our toolbar we will have it previews and they will cache it as a thumbnail to cache this will be um regenerate them so it will save quite a bit on the render time but it will take more and more space so right in this area you can specify how long you want to keep it cache active if you work intensive you maybe want to decrease or increase depend um, on how it will work for you usually 30 um, days will be plenty and if you feel it's overloaded you can always clean up this next we have a client preview window and again you can activate by accessing on the top of the bar this will allow you to control so for example if you always will work on some machines with the clients you can enable open window automatically at startup so you don't need to click the button right there keep it windows on the top um, it does happen and I do recommend enable because if you have it, some other elements pop up that you don't want client to see they will be under window not on top and remember last used window position so if you use the multiple monitors it will remember on which monitor it put in them so let's go next to email this is very um, interesting and kind of almost unique options in the Photoki Pro when you can have it email your work or use the ftp automatically upload your work so it will very nice streamline uh, your process for these options you will need to have it a um, network and internet access if you need it so your service provider currently you see it's a blank because i'm not specified but you can use your username password host for example gmail.com port depend on a provider it will specify you always can access to the how to set up uh, your email provider like for example on google i think it's 425 or some other port so it's all different but right here you can preset those information also if your provider require ssl secure uh, service layer you can always enable here next email settings and this is when your email generated to your client example it's what they send with them so your name your email if you need send blank copy subject and notice it's all says default so whatever you you can override when you click email but they will pre-populate it for you those fields so it's make much faster and easier also you can have it 
plain text path HTML if you have it any template um, already pre-made so this will make it a little bit easy um, your resizing image size so currently 640 pixels depend on your resolution you may change this I find out on the retina and other one displays you want to have it higher maybe two um, thousands pixels or other but remember this is will increase size and also this will affect um, attachments because image will send us attachment in your email and some providers may not allow a large size so 640s will provide good preview image and you always can change it if you feel like okay after generate file names or you can specify file name um, extension if you need it directly for this email so let's go look on FTP. In some cases similar, we we'll have it our host, username and password, and also ways to upload it. So when you click on FTP upload, it will take your images that for the export and upload them directly to FTP um, server. So let's go right in our color settings. It's your profile settings for your colors. So if you have it enabled color management, on this case you can preview same if you're printing or if you're shooting with different um, gun palette you're also using the foreground embedded colors if you need it and also you can preset default workspace uh, many times you, when you photo shoot on the cameras it's probably come with is rgb on my camera i says adobe rgb it's a little bit wider but again it's not if you do in a raw format like I do, it's one effect. It. So that will be um, sRGB or, or Adobe RGB. If you do in raw format, that won't be um, influence the image you will getting as a raw. And of course, you can have it your custom profile if you have a color correction um, unit like Spider or other ones and save your profile so you can create and upload it. And um, also you can specify what type of render intent you can have it okay based on procedural saturation or other ones and you also have it, your activation information so right there it will showing your information for your currently application if you activated and purchase uh, from last time when i checked the it's for a key pro you can have it three active um applications running so you can have it installed on three machines which is kind of very useful you can have it on for example laptop when you travel and photo shoot on a field and if you process in your workspace you can always have an additional copy just for the work so and remember if you like to process on one and work at um on your other computer just enable right here save project with relative path so by enabling this it will be easy to transfer between different machines when you work if you decide to work on same project